Hey everybody, Jeremy Senpai here. Thank you so very much for clicking on my video. I do so hope that you like what you have to hear. If you like what you hear, then please feel free to hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Also, if you have any commission ideas that you want to hear from me, you can always send me a message over on my Instagram, completely free. Now, let's get into the audio. And as usual, remember always, keep calm and put your headphones on. Now, let's get on to it. Oh, you're, you're finally awake. I, <clears throat> I guess you've heard that too many times, haven't you? But yes, you're, you're awake now. And yeah, you're, you're tied to a chair. I guess you've heard that so many times, but this time is different. Oh, I, uh, figured that you recognized me. I mean, we did go to high school together. Yeah, things are a lot different now compared to when we were kids. I mean, I mean, back in school. Can I, can I untie you? No, no, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. It's, well, I did this because I love you. I know you've probably heard that so many times, but, and you've gone through this so many times, waking up tied to a chair with some weird man or woman staring back at you saying that you've woken up, but this time is different. I... I shouldn't have, I really shouldn't have turned you down back in high school. I remember back when you gathered all your strength just to speak to me and confess to me, and I just said no. I mean, how? How could I do that to you, like the greatest person in the entire world? Um... No, it's it's not like that. Oh, pay no attention. It's just the millions of people all trying to get to you, darling. But don't worry. I just happen to have an underground secret bunker. So no one is getting inside. Not with all of the security measures I set into motion. You... You want me to untie you? I... I guess I can do that, darling. I mean, it's not like you really have anywhere to run. And I can see the look on your face. It's like all the fight is just... taken right out of you. Okay. As long as you promise not to resist me. What are these? These scars. You say that your previous captors did this to you. Ugh. If I knew who did this, I would scar them from head to toe. I'd see how they like being scarred. How could they do this to you? Do this to your beautiful hands? Mm. How's that feel? I know it can't exactly take away all the pain, but you know the saying, kiss and make it feel better. I don't feel this way about you. Of course I do. And wouldn't you rather be with somebody you actually had feelings with, feelings towards, instead of just some random person? It's the virus making me feel this way? No, I don't think so. I mean, we're able to be a little self-aware when it comes to all this. So, we are aware 
that we have feelings for you, but I know enough. I can see through the haze just enough to know that my feelings are genuine. Because I really do love you, I was such an idiot, such a fool, for rejecting you. I was so full of my own high school crap to care, but I did have an interest in you. I was just too afraid back then. You wish everything could go back to normal. I'm so sorry for that, but I promise you, no one is ever going to hurt you again. I mean, outside, they're all scratching and clawing at the door and killing each other just to get to you. But the bunker... The bunker is me. I mean, the bunker is so reinforced. That wall alone is 20 inches of steel. They could ram a vehicle into it, and some of them have tried. And it has ended badly. And besides, if that door is ever penetrated, then the entire base goes on lockdown. There are also a series of security doors. There's one that needs a drop of my blood. There's one that needs a scan of my retina. There's another that needs my handprints. And if somebody entered it in wrong too many times, then the base would automatically shut down. And we have everything we need down here to live peacefully. I, I have all of your favorite foods. I've even trained myself to prepare as many as possible. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like for you? I mean, you've been, it's been like this for what, a year now? So I can only imagine how... How shocked you feel. I mean, it's probably no surprise you waking up in a basement or an attic or something. But this time it's different, darling. No one is ever gonna hurt you again. And if it means anything, I'm one of the non-violent ones. I mean, I did have to kill a few thousand just to get to you. But they were killing each other anyway, so it was a bit of a mercy killing. Oh, please, please don't be scared, darling. I'm... I am so sorry for how I treated you. You are the greatest person in the world. You are. If nothing else, I'm not worthy of you. So, how's about you just sit down, enjoy yourself. I... I have all of your favorite movies on my... Not on my stream over here, and I I can do almost anything that you want. You just say the word, except of course for leaving. But I see the look in your eyes. You don't want to fight, do you? You're tired. So, how about you and I just cuddle for now? I'm never letting anyone ever hurt you again. You are so important to me. You are just so wonderful. Ah, look at you. You're blushing. What happened to the sweet little thing that confessed to me all the way back in high school? There they are, right there. Okay, you wait right there, darling. I've already prepared some food for you. I mean, you need to keep your strength up, after all. There you go. See? Already out like a light. I can only imagine how they felt. It's been a year of this madness. But never again. No one is taking you away from me. None of them have the resources, the training, or even the drive. 
you loved me back in high school, and I love you even back then. So no, no one is ever taking you away from me. And there will be hell to pay if anyone tries. Rest well for now, darling. You're safe at long last.